Acker is a comedic deity who is associated with passage, meaning from their home world into uh, the realm that we would consider to be Earth. He was known from the Old Kingdom circa 2700 BCE and still persists in legend to this day. He controls the interface between the east and the western horizons of the underworld and is the guardian of the gate through which the king passes into the underworld. Acker provides a safe course for the barge of the sun god during the passage from the underworld at night. He may be seen as the socket holding onto the boat's mass. He has also been considered benevolent against snake bites, and he is represented by opposing facing pair of humans or lions. Acker, of course, originates from the celestial origin that we would call Canis Major, and was an influence in both ancient Kemetic and Nubian uh, civilizations, typically associated in his role as a protector, and one of the earliest to be a deification of the horizon. And in his representation, he, he represents the sun as it rises in the east and as it sets in the west. And in this role, he is a protector of the sun god Ray as he enters into the netherworld during sunset and returns to the land of the living at sunrise. He is also believed to be the guardian against his natural enemy, who is the demon god Apep, by imprisoning his coils to secure safe passage of Ra. Only Acker can neutralize the bite of the snake demon god. He may also be spelled as Akar, which roughly translates into he who bends. Now, this deity was originally portrayed as a narrow strip of land with a lion or human head at both ends facing away from each other, usually one facing east and the other facing west. Later, he was depicted as two lions facing opposite each other, most commonly called Ruti, two lions. Now the lions are used because the summer solstice usually peaks at the time of the zodiac sign, the Leo. The Rutu carries on their back the hieroglyph sign of the horizon with the sun and the sky above. Later on, the lions were given names, Seth, which means yesterday, and Tua, which means today. This deity is also known to carry the Akhet, which is a symbol of the Egyptian sky. It's a solar disk supported between two summits of the mountain Ju. The western crest was called Manu, while the eastern summit was called Baku. These peaks cradle the sky as well. Sometimes the heads of the lion may be that of men or of women. These lions were believed to be aggressive in nature, and, we're, and when they are called Akaru, which is the plural of Akar, the pyramid texts suggest that the Akaru would not attack the king or the pharaoh, but were not necessarily known to give safe passage for anyone else. More than anything, Akar is a protective deity. He is believed to be the guardian and the gatekeeper of the underworld and brings to mind the concept of Subarus that the Greeks would later write about as being the protector of the gates of their underworld. He is thought to be an entity that will annul the causes of death, especially by extracting poison of a scorpion sting or a snake bite. He also welcomes the pharaoh as he journeys into the underworld. His protective functions may even extend into other places like tombs and palaces where his statues were often placed at the door to ward off evil spirits. Acker, despite being a very popular figure, utilized in many different ways as a form of protection in both the living world and a journey to the afterworld, there were never temples that were dedicated to this particular deity. It's difficult to know what types of offerings would be appropriate, but I'm sure if you search into your soul, you can find that which will make this ancient comedic deity a loyal fan of yours.